Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Benjamin, and this is part two for our RTS tutorial series. And I'm super excited to get into this part because we're actually going to do the selection part of the tutorial. Now, we're going to jump right in and do a script. So, create a script up here, and we're going to call this script. And let me actually adjust this so it's full screen. We're going to call this script. Um, script toggle select okay we're going to do a triple comment here script toggle select <clears throat> now the triple comments are just for when you're typing in the script it'll feed you information so this script is going to have a few arguments so we're going to want to feed those arguments we're going to do uh, press x press y release X release Y. Okay, now we're gonna create uh, we're gonna create those arguments. So these are gonna be the press arguments. Var p x equals argument zero. Var p y equals argument one. Then we're going to do the release ones. Release var rx equals argument 0. Var ry equals argument 3. And this was actually supposed to be 2 here. So um, we've got those in. So those are just going to be x and y coordinates for the mouse that we are for the mouse clicks because we're going to have a left click or yeah a left click which is going to be the press and then a left release which is going to be the release and they're going to be at different positions in the room because when the player clicks up to select something he's going to click and drag it's going to create like a box a selection box so we need to keep track of the two corners of that box so that's what we're doing. So the next thing we're going to do is going to have the cases because there's more than just okay so when you're clicking to select something you can click you can click and go left to right like top top left to bottom right or you can do bottom left to top right or you can do top right to bottom left and bottom right to top left it, I mean there's four different cases where you can select so we're going to put all those cases in variables. So var top left bottom right equals x is less than px. x is or let's see x is greater than px. x is less than rx and py. Let's see y is greater than py and y is less than ry. Okay, so this is the top right, bottom left. So we're going from the top right to the bottom left. So we're checking if our x is greater than the left x point, but still lower or but still less than the right um, x point. So if they're in between the two point, the two x points, and then if they're in between the two y points from from for that case, then this will return true and tldr will be set to true. So we're going to create another case, var. Um, if this is confusing, don't worry. This is the hardest part of this tutorial. So let's just get it done with, and you won't have to worry about it again. bltr equals x is greater than px, and x is less than rx, and y is less than py and y is greater than ry okay var uh, brtl equals x is less than px and x is greater than rx and y is less than py and y is greater than ry. And we're going to do one more var 
uh, T R B L top right bottom left equals X is less than PX and X is greater than RX and Y is greater than PY and Y is less than RY now I gotta check these because last time I messed this up and so the selection didn't work you're gonna want to pause the video and you're gonna want to copy this and make sure that you've got it exact I would recommend doing one row at a time greater than PX greater than PX less than PX less than PX less than RX less than RX greater than RX greater than RX greater than PY less than PY less than PY greater than PY less than RY greater than RY greater than RY less than RY so do it one at a time like that step through and you should be able to make sure that you get all those right now we're gonna actually do our selection if um, T uh, let's see TLBR or um, BLTR or oh, ha, it's BLT BRTL or TRBL okay selected equals true else selected equals false and I've got something wrong here selected Oh, I didn't do an equals sign. Equals true. Okay. Awesome. So this script should be done. And like I said, that is the most complicated of what thing that we're doing. So come into the uh, the worker, or not the worker, the uh, the ship object that we had from our last one. Go in, add an event, and this is going to be a mouse event, a global mouse, a global left released um, yeah global left released right here so drag over a code select the ship okay so inside of this selection code we're gonna do um, if instance exists and this is an instance that doesn't exist yet object mouse we're gonna create this object so if it exists screen or script toggle uh, select and we're gonna do it object mouse dot px is gonna be the press x variable object mouse dot py is going to be the press y and then for the release x and release y we're just going to do mouse x mouse y awesome so now let's create that mouse object and I've actually got a sprite for it already you can see I did my own sprite so if you want to do your own sprite you can draw one just make sure that it looks similar to this and that the origin for the sprite is the top left corner so you can do your own sprite like that we'll create an object object mouse and we'll give it that sprite and I'm going to create a new uh, a new create event drag over some code init some variables and we're going to do px equals negative one py equals negative one and we're setting this to negative one and that just represents the fact that there that the mouse is not being clicked right now that's how I've chosen to do that you could actually do that more than one way so come in and we're gonna do a um, we're going to do a step event an end step event and add a code three here follow the mouse so x equals mouse x 
y equals mouse y. And that is how you get an object to follow the mouse on the screen with the mouse x and mouse y variables. So now, um, now that we've created that, let's leave it alone for a second, jump back into the ship. We're going to do a, well, first of all, come into the ship, uh, the ship, uh, script ship init and change selected to false because they're going to start out not selected by default. Now we're going to add a new event and this is going to be a draw event. I'm going to call this draw selected. Okay. And we're going to do, uh, let's see, if selected, selected, draw set alpha 0.25, draw circle color x, y, 16, c line, c line, true. Okay, we're just drawing a circle with the color of lime, a radius of 16 at our x and y position, and it's going to be an outline circle. That's why we're saying that to two. Draw set alpha. Alpha is just how transparent this is. We're gonna set this to 0.1 because this next thing we want to be really transparent. You can actually copy this circle that we just drew, right, and put it here and then set outline to false. Okay, then you're gonna do draw set alpha and do one. So set the alpha back to one so that this is the only thing that we draw with these transparency values in the room. And you're going to end the if statement and do draw underscore self just to draw the ship. Because if you put a draw event in your code, then you have to run a draw self or the ship won't draw. It won't be there. Okay? It's pretty easy. Got that out of the way. Now we're going to come into our uh, mouse object again. And we're going to create a left press event. So mouse, global mouse, left pressed. Okay, drag over this, the, uh, some code. And we'll call this set the press x and press y. So when they click down, we want to keep track of where those variables are. So px is going to be mouse x, py equals, equals mouse y. So this is saying when they click in the click event, grab the X and Y coordinate of the mouse and store it into a variable. Why? Because we're going to pass this into our, um, into our script selection or our ship selection script so that we know where it, whether or not we're within the bounds of that box that the mouse is going to draw. Okay. Now we're going to do another one. This is going to be global mouse left released. And global mouse left left released right there. Okay? Set px and py to negative 1. Why? Because that is what I'm determining that says that the mouse is not being clicked right now. If those are at negative, if those are both at uh, negative one. There's other ways of doing that, but that's how I decided to do it. Now we're gonna add a draw event, and I know this is a lot of code, but you're gonna, it's gonna be so worth it when you see it in the end, you're gonna be so excited. So draw self and draw selection box. So let's do um, if px does not equal negative one and py does not equal negative one, which is just saying if we're clicking down, right? Draw set alpha 0.25, just like we did with the other one. Draw rectangle color. And we're gonna do px py mouse x mouse y c line c line 
C lime, C lime. You have to pass four colors to rectangles and then uh, true. And then we're going to do draw set alpha point one. And you can copy this right here, this rectangle that we just drew. And you can make this set to false. And then you can set the alpha back, draw set alpha and set it back to one instead of point one. And you can end that and do draw self. And I think that that is all. So, oh yeah, one more thing you'll want to do. If you've created your own mouse sprite like I did, you'll want to go up and to change the global game settings, go to Windows, and then right here you want to uncheck display the cursor. Okay, so let's save this and run it and pray that all of this works because you never know when you're programming live, recording yourself like this, it can be quite a pain. Oh, I forgot to put the object in the room. So remember <laughs> to go into your room and put in your mouse object. That is very important. Or else none of this will work. Okay. So you can see I can left or I can right click, nothing happens. I can grab and select and you can see it draws a cool uh, like selection box. Um, if I select one of the units it shows a circle around it and then I can click and that unit will move and only that unit. If I select another unit it deselects that one. If I select both of them at the same time then you can move both of them. So there you have it that is part two to our RTS uh, tutorial series. We will get into enemies and lasers and stuff in the future, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure and like it. That really helps me out. Um, share it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and give me some comments, feedback. I really appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you guys later.